Welcome to Your Health Matters, brought to you by Meredith Health. I'm your host, Kayla Murphy. Today, Chef Joe shows us how to make a parfait, Thomas Bird shows you how to make your home a gym, and Laurie Sandberg and I talk about diabetes. But first, news and announcements. Meredith Medical Center has a cool new piece of equipment, the Arctic Sun. This machine helps patients who have suffered cardiac arrest preserve brain function by inducing mild hypothermia, which lowers the core body temperature for approximately 48 hours after an arrest. Pam Holtzinger, a clinical educator, explains. The American Heart Association in 2010 came out with recommendations to include the use of mild hypothermia for patients who have had a cardiac arrest. Meredith Medical Center has adopted this idea or this procedure. When a patient comes in who's had a cardiac arrest and they meet the, they meet the criteria, we will start the process by bringing out our new equipment. What is unique about this equipment is that it comes with specialty pads that help bring the temperature down with the patient very, very quickly. It has something called hydrogel, which attaches directly to the patient's skin without damaging the skin. And water flows through the pads on the patient and brings that temperature down. The idea is to help prevent further damage that happens as a result of loss of circulation within the body. The brain is very sensitive to any changes at that cellular level and will eventually result in swelling of the brain. This process is supposed to reduce that probability and help with neurological outcomes that are favorable on the patients who have had a cardiac arrest. Did you know that Washington County ranks higher than the state and national levels for percent of adults that report current smoker status, percent of adults that report a BMI greater than or equal to 30, and percent of the adults that report fair or poor health? This sad truth affects more than just the individual's life, however. It affects productivity, attendance, and the quality of their work, which is why Tri-State Health Partners and Health at Work partnered up to host the Wellness at Work seminar, promoting wellness in the workplace. The seminar discussed why wellness programs are so important, how to start a worksite wellness program, how to maintain the program, and where to find resources and ideas. If you are interested in more information about wellness programs, please contact Kristen Cochran at 240-313-9946 or kristen.cochran at meritishealth.com. The Your Health Matters Mall Walkers program is now in full swing. Mendy Bishop and Joelle Butler of Meredith Health's Corporate Communications Department joined Donna Clevenger, personal trainer from Total Rehab Care, at the Valley Mall recently to talk with walkers about stretching, proper walking form, and good walking shoes. They also helped to sign walkers up for the Your Health Matters membership program. If you are a mall walker and would like to be a member of the Meredith Health's Your Health Matters program, visit guest services near the food court at Valley Mall and sign up today. On January 28th, the Health Improvement Coalition, which is led by Meredith Health and the Washington County Department of Health, held a community health summit designed to discover the healthcare priorities of the community. This summit brought together key organizations from within the community, including the Community Free Clinic, Teens Have Choices, and the Washington County Department of Social Services, all of which have representatives on the coalition. The summit resulted in a focus on three areas where improvement is needed, improving healthcare access, reducing cardiac disease, and reducing the number of acute emergency department visits for diabetes patients. The coalition's next step is to conduct a community needs assessment that will lead to a strategic community impact plan to address the three focus areas. And now, announcements. The 55 and Up Luncheon this month features Dr. Andrew Muhammad of the Retina Center of Western Maryland. Dr. Muhammad will speak on cataracts and glaucoma at the luncheon on Tuesday, February 28th from 11.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. at Next Dimensions Restaurant in Hagerstown. The cost is $10. To register, call 301-790-8907. People often think of diabetes as a silent, painless condition. The fact is, there are millions of people with diabetes-induced tingling toes or painful feet caused by nerve damage. This condition, called diabetic neuropathy, can range from aggravating to disabling or life-threatening. Diabetic neuropathy affects different people in different ways. You can learn more about this condition at a free community workshop on Thursday, March 1st at Robinwood Professional Center, Suite 142. The guest speaker is Dr. Todd Harrison of the Podiatry Associates of Hagerstown. Call 1-888-803-1518 to register. Every two seconds, a patient in the U.S. needs blood. 
This February, donate for someone you love. On February 29th, Meredith Health is hosting a blood drive for the American Red Cross at Robinwood Professional Center, Suite 142, from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. You can register in advance by visiting www.redcrossblood.org. Don't forget, the new employee lot opened up parking spaces for visitors in the silver lot. That will be your best bet for parking. Up next, Chef Joe shows you how to make a healthy dessert. 